so today I'm going to be talking about the movie Us. Us is the second film to be made by director Jordan Peele. His first film being Get Out, which I thought was amazing, it had a lot of critical acclaim, and it touched on a lot of important subjects about American society, such as race, race relations, and things like that. This movie Us is a little bit different. The statements that it supposedly makes about American society are a little bit more understated and kind of left up for interpretation for the viewers which I think is really interesting and it's also different because it's more of a suspense movie than Get Out was. The movies are very different. I don't think that they can be compared. There's a lot of great things that I loved about this movie. The concept of this movie is really interesting. It revolves around an American family who is taking a vacation and while they're on this vacation they encounter their deadly doppelgangers. Chaos ensues as they try and find their way to safety. So that's kind of the basic basic plot line without giving you too much away about what happens. For the rest of this review I'm kind of going to touch on some spoilery uh, plot points and details so if you haven't seen the movie I would encourage you to go see it and then come back and watch and we can discuss everything that happened. So bye! Alright so if you have seen the movie then you know that not only does is this plot crazy it's got so many unexpected plot twists and goes in a direction that I totally didn't expect it to go into. So this family is on vacation, they encounter their doppelgangers, but one of the biggest questions that arises out of this whole situation is exactly where did these doppelgangers come from? And it's revealed that these doppelgangers are referred to as the tethered. And the tethered are a result of a failed government experiment right and so basically what this experiment set out to do was create clones and while that worked out the experiment fell short of creating copies of the human soul and that's why um, it was abandoned and these tethered were sequestered to these underground tunnels that have been in America for however many plus years and that's where they've been living this entire time. I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> and so what ends up happening with this group of tethered people is that they decide to rise up and kill their above ground human counterparts. And that's essentially what goes down in this movie and that's what we see. But it specifically revolves around the mother of this family that we're following throughout the majority of the movie and her name is Adelaide. What we come to learn throughout the movie is that at some point Adelaide actually encountered her tethered counterpart and that has left her with trauma for the rest of her life. Now what we also know even further into the movie is that not only did Adelaide encounter her tethered counterpart but she and her tethered counterpart switched places. So the Adelaide that we've been following in the movie is actually a tethered person. What? And her human counterpart has been living amongst the tethered the entire time and she was the one who inspired this whole rebellion to begin with. She was the one who developed the idea for the tethered to rise up and come above ground <laughs> and take the place of their human counterparts crazy plot crazy plot some of it was a little predictable like about halfway through there were certain things that the Adelaide we were following in the movie that she did that kind of made you think oh, this doesn't seem right and those thoughts became more prevalent once we were actually introduced to the tethered and we saw how they acted and then we were seeing more of how Adelaide acted and part of me was just like did they switch like did they switch? I don't know. I don't know. Totally threw me off guard, off guard though. Even though I kind of guessed it at one point, it was still a shock. The tethered people are just so weird and creepy. They kind of mimic and copy their human counterparts, at least when we see them under in their underground tunnels, but the actions are more rigid and more staggered and it's really weird. So that was really interesting about them. I've seen a lot of people 
suggesting different things about what this movie could represent whether it's about society and people who are on the lower end of society and their mistreatment all the way to metaphors about our inner selves and what that means so there's a whole bunch of different ideas about what this movie represents and I think the great thing about this movie is that it kind of leaves it up for interpretation for the audience which I really appreciate. There are so many things to just enjoy about this movie. The acting is great and you have to take into consideration that the cast is playing themselves as humans but as also as tethered. So they're playing two roles at the same time and that is no easy feat. Lupita Nyong'o just really blew this role out of the water. I think she did fantastic. Her tethered counterpart speaks with this really strained like constricted voice and it had me afraid every time she spoke. And I think she only spoke like twice in the movie and each time you know gave me chills. She did great. Winston Duke plays the father of, in the movie and he is surprisingly hilarious and a lot of the things that he did and said in this movie led to some surprising comedic moments that I wasn't expecting in this film. So while it was full of suspense there were some really funny moments that just kind of broke up that suspense. We had Elizabeth Moss who her role was a bit smaller but she had a really interesting character who you learned a lot about her even though she didn't say much wasn't in the movie that much. What I really enjoyed most about this movie was probably the cinematography. It was so beautiful. This movie was just visually pleasing to watch if anything else. One specific example that I can think of was before the tethered appeared in the movie Adelaide is expressing to her husband how concerned she is. She experienced this trauma as a kid and now she feels like it's coming back up. During that scene she's facing away from her husband. You don't really see her face while she's describing her feelings but you can see her feet moving. And something to note about Adelaide's character is that we learned she was a dancer you know as a kid and you can see her kind of as she's describing to her husband her foot is kind of just going back and forth and like a ballet move and I thought that was a really nice shot. Another shot that I really liked we see Adelaide as a child and she's walking with her parents on a boardwalk before she is switched and that shot is really cool because there's a lot of tension between her parents that you can see going on. You get it from their dialogue but you get it even more from the way the camera has them spaced out and they cut to the parents and then cut back to Adelaide who's a smaller child who's looking up to them. You can kind of really get a good sense of direction like her size in comparison to both of them. I think that was a really nice shot as well. But cinematically this movie just did some really cool things that I really liked. Something else that just was great about this movie and that you kind of don't pick up on until after the fact or if you see it a second time is all of the foreshadowing that happens in this movie. I mean it's crazy. There's probably a lot that I myself didn't even pick up on and I'll have to go see it again to figure out. Going back to when Adelaide was a kid on that boardwalk at one point she passes by a man who has this sign that says 11-11 on it and then throughout the rest of the movie 1111 is like a prominent thing. Something else that I really liked about the movie was the soundtrack. There was one scene in particular where another family, their tethered doppelgangers have shown up and there's music playing during the scene in which all of them get slaughtered basically and the music that's playing is F the police and then I just thought it was funny um, that that would be the song to be playing while that all of that was taking place. So I thought that was really interesting and a bit funny and there's probably some symbolism to go with it as well. But, but yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I definitely want to see it a second time because I know that there are things that upon a second viewing I'm going to pick up on that I missed in this first movie. I think Jordan Peele has some really interesting things that he has created and I'm excited to see what else he's going to create in the future. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the movie. If you guys have any crazy theories about what went on in the movie, um, what it represents, anything like that, please let me know and thank you for watching.